Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to dual boot Windows 8.1 or 8 and 7 with Windows 8 installed first. Now this is going to be much simpler than my Windows 7 XP tutorials because we're working with Windows 7 which is a modern operating system and Windows 8 which is another modern operating system. So what you're going to need is you're going to need three things. Um, you're going to need ESIS Partition Master to make the this process much simpler to partition your drive. Um, and then you're going to need uh, 20 gigabytes free of hard drive space and you're going to need a Windows 7 disk. So the link to ESIS Partition Master is in the description. So I'll link you to a page like this. Just click download under Partition Master Free. Just click run and let it download. When it's finished downloading, just click yes if you have UAC enabled, which looks like this. Now click OK if you speak English. Alright, just check the box where it says I'll use it on my family PC only. And click OK. Uh, and uncheck the customer experience improvement program if you don't want to join it, which I usually don't. Just next. And it, it's going to want to install a bunch of ad wiring crap, so just un uncheck this stuff. See, so like search protect, you don't want this, so click custom installation, then uncheck. Then just another custom installation, uncheck. Now you don't have to put your name in or email anything, just click next. Now it's just going to install it. Alright, once it's finished installing, just leave this checked. Launch ESIS Partition Master. Let's just click finish. Alright, now it just opens a congratulations webpage. You just close out of that. Now what you need to do is click Partition Manager. Now it's going to start up the program we need. Alright, now this is what we're going to need to do to partition in uh, Windows 7. So just click this little bar down here. This is your main Windows 8 drive. So what then what you want to do is go to the very edge and then when, you s when the cursor changes just cl click and drag and then you can drag it down to any uh, any kind of size you want. So you want 20 gigs free from Windows 7. This is the small drive. So I'm going to drag it down to as far as possible. Now automatically, just this is just unallocated space that it created because we scaled down the we scaled down the Windows 8 drive. So click on the unallocated space, right click, and click create partition. Now just name it whatever you want, like Windows 7. All right. Here you can see the checkbox for optimize for SSD. An SSD is a really fast drive and chances are you may not have one unless you know you have one. I'll explain more of what an SSD is in a later video. Alright then the next thing you're going to need to do is w by create as right here where it says logical click the little drop down arrow and change it to primary and it'll change to a primary partition and you can change the drive letter but I would just leave it where it is just default cluster size, just leave everything default um, then click OK now it just created our new our new Windows 7 partition I, c I only have 16.65 gigs available that should be fine it's just not recommended for that much um, yeah <laughs> I yeah but it's just a little small drive so I'll just have to deal with it so anyway once you're done with that and you have at least 20 gigs free just click uh, apply in the top left just click apply click yes f to apply changes now it's now you have to reboot just make I should have said that earlier but you have to reboot for this um, just click yes now it's gonna restart and a lot of people have pointed out that I use VirtualBox, but the process for this will be exactly the same if I did it on um if I did it on a real computer. So just keep that in mind. This is the exact same process that I would do on a real computer. Here you see that it's gone into the ESIS partition boot mode. So right here it's just it's resizing our partition and doing everything. Alright, now once it's done. I'll just reboot again. All 
Alright, it reboots again and just says the batch operations are processed completely, so just let it reboot again. Alright, now we're back into uh, Windows 8. Alright, now that we're back into uh, now that we're back into Windows 8, um, just get your Windows 7 disk ready that I said to prepare earlier, because we're done with the first two steps now. So just put your Windows 7 disk in your DVD drive now. Alright, so I just put my Windows 7 disk in my drive, so now just restart your computer. So you can do that by going to the charms bar, settings, power, restart. Alright, now press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Start your Windows 7, I mean, Windows Setup. Alright, now it's in our now it's in the Windows 7 setup, so just click next, install now. Now just accept the terms. Now you have a uh, now you have two options, upgrade and custom advanced. We want to click custom advanced. Now choose your little Windows 7 partition you made earlier. So it's this one. Just click next. Alright, now it's going to run through the setup. So I'll just skip through all this. Alright, now it's just uh, finished. So now it's it just got to completing installation. So this is what it does. It's just gonna restart. So once it restarts, um, just don't let it. Just don't boot from this the CD or DVD. Just let it go. Now you should see Windows 7 in your boot menu, so just press enter over it to boot it. Now it's just gonna do some stuff like update registry settings and prepare for first use. Alright, now it just gets to the screen, starting services, and a couple other stuff. Alright, now it's just going to finish the installation. Alright, I'll come to this screen. I'll just say continue after rebooting. So just uh, again, if you haven't taken the disk out, just don't boot from the disk. I'll just take my disk out. Now I'll start to prepare the computer for first use, and I'll do that for a little while. Alright, when it's finished uh, setting up for first use, it'll come to this. Um, yeah, this is just the main setup stuff, so just give the computer a name, same as tutorial, password, uh, updates, I just, I'll do ask me later, time zone. And uh, network location. All right, then I'll just finalize settings after the network location. Alright, after it's done all that, it should just uh, go right into the uh, Windows 7. But preparing your desktop like it's doing right now.
Alright, now when it logs in, your main driver should just install automatically. But since I'm using a virtual machine, of course, I have to do a different method. But if you were on an, um, a normal computer and you did this, um, your video driver should install by default. You shouldn't be installing driver software. And it might ask you to restart to apply the changes and just restart when it asks you that. And now, yeah, you're pretty much done. So, uh, let me just install my drivers right here. Alright, so I just got my drivers installed. Now, to get back into Windows 8, just very simple. Just restart. Alright, so just use the arrow keys to navigate the menu and press enter over the selection you want. So, Windows 7 or Windows 8.1. Windows 8, normal Windows 8, should work just fine, and any future versions of Windows 8 should work with this process. So, um, the reason why I have two Windows 7s is because I was doing something I messed up, and I had to delete a Windows 7, so I just left it there. But I'm going to make a tutorial on how to delete the other Windows 7 if you have that kind of problem, or if you want to change the boot time or skip the boot menu. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and comment if you have any questions or problems.